Nature is a fascinating and complex system made of bugs, animals, plants, the soil, the sun, weather, water, and of course people. This system is what we call an ecosystem. The sum of these ecosystems is our Earth. The Earth's different ecosystems provide a series of benefits to the human society, called ecosystem services. There are many different kinds of ecosystem services, supporting life on Earth in many ways. For example, oxygen. We need oxygen in the Earth to breathe. In fact, we need a specific concentration of oxygen. Too much oxygen and everything could burn. Not enough oxygen and we would die. So, how does nature manage to maintain a certain concentration? A cycle. Oxygen, CO2, water, nitrogen, and all kinds of nutrients endlessly cycle through Earth systems, always changing their state but keeping a balance. This balance is absolutely necessary for life, and healthy ecosystems, including humans, are in charge of keeping this balance. Nature is necessary for the existence of human societies, even after death. Without soil, there would be no agriculture. Without life, there would be no soil. Soil formation is the result of Earth systems recycling life for hundreds and thousands of years. Soil formation, oxygen level in the atmosphere, nutrients, pollinization, and the water cycle are a group of benefits called support and regulation ecosystem services and they keep things in nature changing and flowing but in a balance, building the foundations of life. Like an apple, everybody loves apples and there is a huge system working all around the world to deliver apples to our food markets. But where do they come from? Who produces the apple? The apple tree. So, we get this source supplied by nature, just like fishes, wood, rocks, minerals, and all kinds of goods that we need. These benefits are called production ecosystem service. And they are all these things we use in everyday life. And without nature supporting them, they wouldn't exist at all. There are also some less obvious benefits that we receive from nature. We become breathless in front of a giant tree or looking at a blue whale. Some people feel spiritually filled in the middle of a rainforest and indigenous people all around the world worship nature in various forms. These are called information ecosystem services. The group of spiritual, religious, and recreational benefits we, as a society, receive from Earth ecosystems. There is one thing in common for all these benefits or ecosystem services. We need healthy functioning ecosystems in order to receive them. There is nothing recreational nor spiritual in a degraded forest. You have to be very lucky to grow apples in the city, and there isn't any technology on the world capable of replacing nature on their endless recycling of water, oxygen, nutrients, soil, etc. Now our planet is facing significant climate change, but what does this mean? what is going to happen with the ecosystem service in our near future of global climate warming? In a sentence, they will change in location, quantity, quality and timing. That's why we invite you to explore our Google Earth project, Facing Climate Change, listening to interviews of renowned climate change experts, testimonies from all around the world, and basic information about what we should expect from climate change, how it will change our well-being and everyday life, and what we can possibly do to improve the situation.